So this is very nice because I can watch my talk in peace and then decide to recommend it. It asks me for authentication, but I can refuse and continue watching my talk. By default, in Laravel applications, routes protected using the Auth middleware can only be accessed by authenticated users. Guest users are redirected to the login page. While this is okay for most applications, there are scenarios where you might want to do things differently. For example, say I'm minding my own business, watching this great talk by Sandy Metz. Then I see the recommend button and think, hey, this is an excellent talk, I definitely recommend it. So I click the button, and since I'm not authenticated, I'm redirected to the login page. This makes me mad. Like, what if I don't want to log in or create an account right now? I was watching that talk and you pushed me away from it. So that's a bit of a bad experience. A modal dialog would have been better. I could have chosen to register, log in, or just hit cancel and continue watching the talk. Much better. So let's see how we can replace that login redirect with a modal dialog. As a starting point, I already have the dialog built with headless UI. Apart from the transitions, the overlay, opening and closing of the dialog, I've also added three slots. One for the title, one for the content, and another one for actions. If you're not really sure how this works, you can find the code snippets below the video. Then the dialog model is imported and used inside the app layout component so it can be shown on any page we might be on. Here we also have those three slots, the title, content and actions. For now, auth model is open is set to true, so if we go in the browser, the model should be opened. To make the model appear when the user hits a protected route, we can redirect back and set a session key with a message to be displayed. We can then use the presence of that message to open the model. So I'll open the authenticate middleware, and here we have this redirect to method that returns the URL where guest users should be redirected. Currently, this is set to return the login URL, but what I want to do instead is return the previous URL. And then we also need to include that message I was talking about in the session. So before returning the URL, we'll do session, and we'll use the facade, flash, require auth, and then the message. The next step is to add this session message to the shared data inside the handle, in a share request middleware. If you can't find this middleware, you can generate it using the PHP Artisan Inertia middleware command. Let's scroll down to the share method and say session, session only require auth. We can then go inside app layout and add a watcher for the session prop. Here under setup, we can do watch props session and pass a callback that will receive the session as a parameter. Let's import the watch function. And here we can do auth model is open value. And to convert the require auth string into a boolean, we can do bang bang session require auth. Let's also add a console. Go to the browser, refresh, and click the recommend button. Here it is, it's set to true. However, the model isn't appearing. The reason for that is because our dialog model component lives inside the app layout, which is set as a persistent layout, meaning that it doesn't re-render between requests. So we need a way to force the dialog model component to re-render. And the easiest way to do that is by setting a key, which will eventually change when the session changes. So we'll do auth model key. Let's grab this put it here inside the setup and we'll do ref and to give it a unique value we'll do new date get the time and set it to string let's expose this and then here when the session changes we'll set its value to the same thing now if i go inside the browser and refresh click the recommend button, here it is. Next up, let's make sure we set the correct message, the one we get from the server. We'll add a new ref, we'll do auth model message, and then here when the session changes, we'll do auth model message value equals to session require auth. And of course, let's expose this. 
and then use it inside the template. Go in the browser, refresh, click the recommend button. And here it is. This is the message we are getting back from the server. However, if we go inside the authenticate middleware, we'll see that we always set the same message. It would be nice for the message to reflect what the user is trying to achieve. If I go inside the route file, I can grab all the auth route names and then construct an array of messages. Here we'll do reasons, paste these in, and add messages for each route. And now we can set the correct reason by grabbing the route name from the request. We can do reasons, request, route, get name. And let's also set a default. If I go in the browser and refresh, click the recommend button, we get only authenticated users can recommend talks. If I click the follow button, we get only authenticated users can follow authors. If I go to a category, only authenticated users can follow categories. So this is very nice because I can watch my talk in peace and then decide to recommend it. It asks me for authentication, but I can refuse and continue watching my talk. Isn't that nice? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye.